I'm sitting here with Jay Sorg, uh, co-owner of Sorg Sport and Wellness here in, in New Albany, Indiana. Today we're going to talk about youth athletes that are identified as that basketball player or that baseball player or that softball player. And, and when they struggle with their sport, sometimes they struggle with their own identity. Jay, can you talk a little bit about what you've seen in the industry and ways to, to possibly help those young athletes overcome those struggles? Yeah, sure, Johnny. And you know, I think first thing we got to do is identify or, or, or define what uh, identity is. And basically that's how people see themselves. And identity is a very important thing uh, in life in general, whether you're an athlete or whether you're uh, in your profession or, or whatever it is. And people identify themselves in a lot of different ways. But one thing we're starting to see a lot in uh, youth sports is that uh, players are starting to identify themselves just as a baseball player, just as an athlete, or just as a football player, whatever sport it is that they're playing. And there's a lot of danger that can come with that. Um, now, can their sport be a part of their identity? Certainly, and that's what we want them to do. But what happens is, if that's the, the main way they identify themselves, they go through the peaks and valleys emotionally that you automatically go through when you play a sport. You know, we have our highs, we have our lows. Well, when you have somebody who's not, who, who's a little more grounded and not just in an identity uh, of just an athlete, they tend to get through those highs and lows a lot better. Uh, so I tell you what we really try to do. Uh, Johnny, we, we try to get people to, to do a little exercise for us. And we say, okay, I want you to write down how you identify yourself right now. All the good ways, all the bad ways, all the ugly ways you identify yourself. Uh, some of that's through profession or what you do. Some of it's how you respond emotionally. Some of it is uh, roles you have in your life. But we write them all down. And then we do another column where we say, I want you to write down what is the, your ideal identity. And so now we write down all the characteristics. We write down all the things that we want to see ourselves as. And then uh, what we do is we say, look, once you've written down that new identity, we want you to read that identity every day, every morning when you wake up, and we want you to start acting in that new identity. And I think it's very important for parents to take a look at that. And if you have a, a, a child who only has a couple things written down as their identity, and, and, and sports is a big part of it, or really anything in general, whether they're, it's their student or whatever it is, if they only identify themselves in one aspect, man, you're gonna ride a lot of peaks and valleys emotionally with that person. But if you can get somebody who is well-grounded and well-rounded, uh, they'll have enough identity and confidence that if one area of their life isn't working the way it's supposed to, they will ideally have many other things to fall on and keep their confidence in themselves. The bottom line is we got to remember this. We become the labels that we put on ourselves and it's very important and that can be good and bad. But the great news is uh, it can be bad in the way that if something's going wrong we're down but it can be really good. We can instantaneously change our actions because uh, we can change the way we see ourselves and we will start acting that way. So I hope that helps Johnny. Uh, and hope that helps take some pressure off of some of our young athletes. Well, Jay, thank you so much. It's a, it's a great tool to use for those that may have those struggles and a good, uh, a good resource for parents to leverage that exercise and, and hopefully diversify those young athletes so they're not so reliant upon that one thing. Okay, well, thank you so much and have a great day. Thanks, you, Joe.